We'll probably be seeing a lot more of him, which is great because he's a great player. Yep. A uh, very exceptional uh, jury player. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, we've said it before, we've said it multiple times today. He is probably one of the best juries in America. And, you know, you might say that that's kind of being a big fish in a small pond because there aren't many juries around. But, um, you know, when you look at you look at people like Juicebox, you got, like, um, you got Blue Nine, you now have Weirdo Neo, you got all these solid jury players. Um, interestingly enough, though, I noticed that a lot of jury players, again, like Juicebox and Blue Nine, have Pocket Able. And I wonder if there is something about their play styles that complement each other, the two characters, or if it's just a sheer coincidence. I think it's just coincidence. I think I think uh, I think I talked to Blue Nine a little bit, and I guess they they actually teamed up too because they, because they use so many uh, similar characters uh, in a team game. Hmm, interesting. Here's some uh, encouragement from uh, he's going by Alex now. Yeah, Alex he's, Smith. Alex Smith, uh, giving some encouragement to Weak Sauce, telling him he knows this matchup. The last, the last time these guys played was actually at the GU tournament, and no, I no. remember exactly that Weird O'Neal just like walked away and pretty much like he lost, and he pretty much said like, "Damn, this guy's <laughs> pretty good." <laughs> yeah, and because I remember um, Weird O'Neal using that Ultra One. Rob is a brick wall. Yep. He always blocks correctly. Well, I think I think uh, what what uh, Weirdo Neo is looking for is uh, yep, he's looking for the uh, knockdown so he can play the 50-50 game really here. And he went for the over he went for jumping. And you know he hits that jumping, but like I was saying, Rob has great defense. He's been yep. a, he was a CBS two player for years. He's been playing this game for so long. He knows how to block. He's got great defense. So it, it'll be interesting to see if that uh, Feng Shui engine works out for him in this round as well. And you know, I think that Sagat can just attentively sit back and play the fireball game with Jerry because his fireballs are faster, they do more damage. Ooh, there was, I'm surprised he didn't follow up that fireball with anything. Rob's going with a lot of those overheads, and I mean, they're hard to see. And I, I think Rob is being, he's being very analytical right now. You see, yeah. he was in the corner for a while there. He's just passively watching it happen. He's just seeing what Weirdo Neo is going to do. And he got hit with that fireball because the, there is startup to that ultra. Hey, he hits him. Yep. I, think, I think that there was about 20 seconds there where Rob was just sitting in the corner, and I think that was him. I, I watched him download Weirdo Neo. I watched him. Watch him. I watched Rob watch Neo play, yep. and he's like, "Look at this! Just right out of the gate, just nailing him." He's just starting out so strong. He's got Jerry in the corner, yep. applying that pressure. Jerry is hard pressed to do anything really. Gets out with a fireball. Ooh, unlucky uppercut. Yep. He's him going with the super. super for the guaranteed damage. No, I, I don't think that was a uh, mistake. But I think. Yeah, I think that was smart. Yeah, and I it, agree it with really that. evened it out. Actually, I think he got some. Uh, trouble right now. Good, I think that trade was uh, probably better for Rob. But yeah, yeah like, he's things. using he's using every jury normal, and I mean it's really working out for him. I mean I've seen uh, standing standing roundhouse that pushes her to forward a little bit. Yeah, he's using every tool in the box right now. So he's using that in order to catch Sagat, because Sagat has such a big hitbox. Uh, Weirdo Neo takes it. Yeah, Weirdo Neo takes it. I mean, Rob was Rob read uh, something going from Jury, but I mean... We go right into the second match. I, I, I think we're going to see Rob pause and uh, you know just gather his thoughts for a minute here. Yep. So at some point in this match, he's just going to sit back again like he did, watch how Neo's adjusted, and try to make his own adjustments. And Fade is adjusting his pants right <laughs> That crouching medium punch is so good. It is so good as, a, uh, as an anti-air.
He's just throwing the fireballs, letting him play the fireball war. Yep, and Sagat's in a little bit of a trouble, a trouble right now. What's up? I don't know, like, she, like yeah. I, we were talking about it a little bit, and Jerry has a lot of good setups. Oh, wow. Oh, he crossed himself up on the And he just said EXDP did not give. Did you, no, he wanted to do the ultra. Did you see he dashed under too far, and he was on the other side, faced backwards, and then spun around for the EX fireball. I think he wanted to do the ultra, and it probably would have gotten him the win. I think he's probably mad about that one. But I mean, I mean, Jerry can play the fireball game a little yeah. bit, and I mean, uh, she has a lot of good setups because of uh, Sagat's uh, Sagat's hitbox. It's yeah. really too big. Big damage there for uh, Rob. That was really good. I mean, uh, we saw Rob just stay in the range where Jerry would have teleported, and that was really key. I'm surprised uh, Neo didn't throw the ultra there. He might be waiting to get a little more uh, gas in the tank. Oh, yep. And we see, we see the fu fuzzy guard, and he's going to go right for the style combo. Oh, and he went Drops for a reset. He went for a reset. Anyway. I know Rob's going to be mad about that Rob one. Rob is a little bit angry, but I know that Neo is giving him a little pat on the back. And now we got uh, Brian. Yeah, that was, that was a really good fuzzy guard. I mean,